For Shiite Muslims, Najaf is their holiest city, a hotbed of religious fervor. It's also the unlikely base for Iraq's Communist Party. This house serves as its headquarters, though membership demands a degree of discretion. I can't say I'm a communist because of the situation in the country and the way people see us. Some comrades who work with us have been threatened. Iraqi communists advocate a secular state. Getting people to hear that message hasn't been easy in a country where, since the fall of Saddam, politics has been increasingly viewed through the prism of religion. But Iraq's communists believe change is in the air. I think the decline in religious parties has started, and we've already seen that in the last regional elections. That's because they don't have the kind of policy programs necessary to tackle the real problems facing Iraq's citizens. Religious hardliners here have long seen communists as infidels. Today, though, they're more subtle in trying to keep the party on the sidelines. It's the first time for hundreds of years that Iraqis have been able to freely choose their leaders, and that's thanks to God. The communists will be fielding two candidates in Najaf this weekend. Even if they stand little chance of winning a seat, they're hoping the vote will at least mark a step towards rebuilding the party.